can't say I was born on a cold, stormy night in December. All I can offer here is a glimpse into my life, a short snapshot of the events that have formed what you see today. My story begins with the origins of my family, much of which is still unclear. Apparently we came to the United States from Germany in the mid-1800s. My existence started in Santa Maria, a small quiet town back then. I grew up as a dusty blonde kid whose closest friend was a dog named Buddy. After elementary school I moved to Santa Barbara. It was a place that surpassed all my dreams and expectations. Though the transition was awkward, it has become my home and something I am proud of. The journey into high school was a drastic change for me. A strange kid straight out of public school, now finding himself emerged in a private Catholic school. I engaged myself in the pep band at sports events and entertaining the crowds. I even took school dress-up days to the extreme with my friends. This was most evident when I won the top prize for Halloween as I mimicked a teacher. The following years after high school, I found myself involved in the Campus Crusade for Christ at UCSB. I then moved to New Zealand in pursuit of an education. I spent six months chasing a dream. After my failed attempt, I resumed work at a local winery, as I had been working in wineries since I was 15 years old. I also had a primary job working for the prestigious Kavli Institute for Theoretical Physics. There I got to be exposed to the most cutting-edge science and got to mingle with Nobel laureates and the famous thinkers of our time. Diversity was something I thought was normal in my family. My uncle fell in love with a foreign exchange student at Helen Hancock and later married after graduating. I was surprised to learn during the course that less than 1% of married couples are interracial. I'm glad my uncle ferried any opposition in following his heart as this has opened a whole new world for me. My other uncle is transgender and has brought up issues that most of us were naive about. And my sister is also someone who fits the book's interracial stats as she is currently involved in a relationship with an African American and has been sometimes put on the defensive. The divorce of my parents happened early on in my life and I would say both were to blame. My mother remarried when I was in high school and my stepdad and I got along fine. My father was able to attend my graduation, though we were distant because of my stepmother, a woman who would eventually set up and plan for his arrest. As my father still sits in San Quentin prison, my family and I still stand by his innocence. Sadly, my father's adopted son Kehlani was swept out to sea in April 2009. The roller coaster of relationships starts with my first serious relationship, Sass. We met through Campus Crusade and fostered a relationship through even my time in New Zealand. She would become the benchmark that I have held everyone to since, and our relationship abruptly ended one year later. I was devastated for quite some time after Sass, and Anna would be considered the one who drew the phoenix out of the ashes. She was outgoing in the life of any party. Through our great moments, we also had equally bad ones, and our awareness of what codependency was emerged. Today, Anna is one of my sister's best friends. Jenny and I's relationship led us to Sweden the summer of 2008 looking for school. There I became an au pair and watched a two-year-old named Ule. Regrettably, I failed and returned the following November still without an education. Elizabeth and I have been dating since January, though it has only been five months. She is someone I can see spending my life with, a consummate love I am fortunate to experience. I spend a lot of my time doing artwork, from making pencil sketches of my grandfather to working with acrylics painting what comes to mind. I've endeavored into other mediums such as paper to design the building I spent five years working in at UCSB. And I have remodeled furniture for Home Reserve, inspiring them and other customers. Someday I hope to volunteer for Habitat for Humanity and contribute change. 
building up my portfolio was also important before I transferred to San Francisco State University. My other endeavors include volunteering my help with one laptop per child, and the Manpalo project where I helped produce a seven-hour DVD and a book coming out this July. This is a future I am looking forward to.